We have often covered the astonishing ancient feats of engineering that went into the construction of the temples at Baalbek within modern-day Lebanon. The enormous ancient megalithic blocks that no matter how adamantly certain individuals claim as relatively recent Roman achievements cannot be explained. How the blocks were cut with the tools available during this claimed era, how they were moved to the location they are today found upon, or indeed any idea as to the techniques or methods utilized to have once perfectly placed them within the ancient structures. Additionally, there are many other ancient structures nearby that although currently not recognized as having the same enormous stones used in their builds, still possess impressively sized megalithic blocks, masterfully completed architectural artwork, and other anomalies, which may link the sites to many other ancient works all over the globe. One of these sites in particular is known as the Niha Temples, Niha being a village in the Beka Valley within Lebanon, and although the ancient ruins are clearly of an advanced nature, they are, just like the inexplicable ruins of Baalbek, claimed as Roman. Interestingly, in addition to the Niha temples, scattered around the area are a number of mysterious altars that are precisely aligned with the summit of Mount Hermon. An additional fact of interest is that this location is recognized as 33 degrees longitude, 33 degrees latitude. Is this possibly the reason for this degree's significance within Freemasonry? Is this location why they are so interested in the geometry of the 33rd degree? Many legends surround this site. In particular, they involve a group of entities known as the Watchers, a purported group of supernatural beings who are known by many names, the Nephilim, Sons of God, giants, fallen angels, egregores, or indeed demons. They are spoken about in the Dead Sea Scrolls, Books of Enoch, Scripture, among many other ancient texts. We find it intriguing that this location, which clearly possesses large numbers of enigmatic and incredibly ancient structures, which additionally display stonework carved and created in the same form as many other ancient sites, also within the Temple of Niha, and possibly within many other of the stonework of the surrounding altars, are protuberances. These mysterious notches, which are also interestingly known as boss marks, another possible connection to this supernatural group, are found throughout the world within the many unexplained ancient ruins, such as ancient Peru, the pyramids, Sacsayhuaman, and many, many more. Predictably, however, these ancient altar sites are rarely investigated or indeed shared by academia. Quote, During the summer of 1934, Dr. Stuart Crawford and Reginald Haupt led a small expedition in which we studied the ancient shrine surrounding Mount Hermon. We located many ruins, and in each case, the shrine was so precisely oriented that when the devotees were at them, they faced a chief sanctuary, located upon the highest of the three peaks of Hermon. This rare insight was written by Reginald Haupt last century. We strongly suspect that when the now well-established Masonic influences recognized the importance of these sites, they were quickly shut off from any further public academic investigation. Who were the Watchers? Were they real entities? If so, are they still in existence? Is the 33rd degree, and indeed its importance within secret society, a mere coincidence? We feel that although predictably claimed as Roman, the precision within their alignments, along with the inexplicable nature of the enormous megaliths involved in their construction, is undoubtedly evidence of a far more ancient, far more advanced constructor, and as such, highly compelling.